and straight away we get tangled. There we go. Right, you go that way. You go that way. Okay. I'm just going to flick that in the water. And... I thought I saw a bit of a tangle on my leader. But now I've pulled it in. I absolutely haven't. Great. Okay. So I'm just going to... One o'clock. There we go. Lovely and straight. How about that? I'm going to let it drift. So just holding the rod with our finger there, ready to capture any takes and obviously to feel the line. And if it does go off, we just break with a hand on the reel, not grab the handle. Rod nice and low. Plenty of line on the floor for casting. I'm going to peel some more off. And now I'm going to recast. So it's rod half out of the water, or line half out of the water. Let go of that, line in our left hand, and then it's up here. And you only release the line as you're pushing forward. There we go. And then back to trapping the line under my right forefinger. Now I came here about a year ago um, on a fly fishing uh, lesson so and I haven't been fly fishing since so very very much still a beginner Keith has come here today and the whole purpose that I'm up here is obviously because Keith wants to come up here because he wanted to learn to fly fish as well so we're very very much beginners and learning learnt lots and me coming back up here me coming back up here I didn't realise how much I had actually forgotten because I was up on the top pole casting what I thought I'd learnt and uh, making a bit of a hash of it. So I did have a quick 15 minute tutorial and refresher if you like and um, straight away it improved. Obviously having the knowledge of how to cast one thing perfecting it obviously comes with practice but if you can't get it right in the first place you've got no hope so yeah that refresher was um, very 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 welcome because now I'm casting straight and not snagging up on trees and bushes behind me still haven't caught a fish but that's a totally different story anyway watch a professional cast. So chuck it in the water first and then you start your cut. Alright, chuck it in the water again. And um, yeah, it's caught, caught a nice reed there by the look of it.
Now for some reason, Keith has nicked my net, so he clearly thinks he's in with a better chance of catching fish than me, which I think is a bit rude. So if I hook into a fish, he's going to have to run around with a net. Ha <laughs> ha! caught the uh, the green stuff behind him with fly fishing it's fairly simple but it's really complicated all at the same time it's easy to forget the basics and that's what my problem was when I first got here and I was just making a complete hash of it I was getting better but I wasn't when you're doing it wrong, you know you're doing it wrong, but you don't know why you're doing it wrong. So yeah, the rule is, chuck it all in the water first. Half out the water. Don't snap your wrist. And one o'clock to eleven o'clock for your casting position only release on the forward, on the push. So it's pull, pause, push, pause. So when you pull, you're letting your line flow out behind you, loading the rod up. And that's what the pause is for, is, is, is just for your line to find that, that horizontal take any slack out of the line and then when you're pushing forward that change in direction loads the rod up using the, the springiness of the rod to help power it forward <coughs> and make the rod do the work don't have to. I don't come fishing to catch fish. I come fishing just to be out here, trying to catch fish. But when you do catch fish, it's the icing on the cake, without doubt. Right, well Keith said he had a couple of bites over here, so I'm going to fish where he was. Oh, and my net's over there on the floor, I think. So it's not massively far away, but obviously if you've hooked into a fish, you're not going to walk down there to go and pick it up. So whoever hooks a fish first, the other one. I'm just going to have to grab the net and go running. Uh, I'm probably going to fish this one. Loads of little sticklebacks in the water. Trout won't feed on them in the summer months because there is a plethora of other food available. And trout know that sticklebacks will get bigger. And in the winter, when the summer food dries up, they will um, munch on the bigger, fatter sticklebacks. So, clever trout. Right. I'm going to peel some line off to cast it out. Get rid of plenty, make sure we're not going to tangle anywhere.
wonder if it's worth trying to fish over there towards the lilies. Normally if it's sunny, the uh, fish want to protect their eyes from the sun so they might stick their heads under the lilies but not exactly sunny today. Well, certainly on the other on the other little ponds and lakes we've seen uh, seen the trout cruising around quite happily without a care in the world. And still haven't managed to catch one. But that's fishing. So this is the fly I'm using. Apparently it does catch fish. And we're fishing about we're fishing about 18 inches deep. Yeah, there is on that lake. Oh, look, fish activity. Not far enough. Perfect on that line. It took all that line. I have to peel a bit more off. Blimey. Things have definitely improved today. Because um, I came here with only a little bit of what I'd learnt last year and forgotten quite a bit about what I learnt. I've been corrected on that and it has made quite a bit of difference. I can't cast massive distances but I can cast fairly accurately and fairly straight and I've stopped hooking into the ground and leaves and trees and Still do occasionally when you make a mistake, but <clears throat> we really are rubbish at fishing. No, we're not. We're good at fishing. We're rubbish at catching because fishing ain't catching. Right, my little box of flies. There we go, put that one in there. Don't want to lose him. A little snips. You got one? Have you landed it? Bloody hell, bloody typical, isn't it? Right? I've done more fly fishing and he bloody catches it. Go on, lose it, lose it. I suppose I'm going to have to go and video him now, aren't I? I'm never going to bloody hear the end of this. Oh, God. Oi, my, my rod! Lose it. Go on, bloody lose it. I think he's, he's uh, changed you for a bit of weed. Oh, please do. Well, you haven't yet. Oh, I hooked one. I'm fighting one, that's enough for me. Go on the back. Rainbow one, look at it, isn't it? Yep. 
should get the IT. <laughs> I ain't going in that now. Yay! I well. just one. No, it isn't. It's horrible. Yeah. It's not a pike. Mind you, you did say they've got teeth. No, I just didn't want him with you. Oh. So you didn't want to get bitten. Yeah. 30, 40 pounder. <laughs> and away. Nice. Well done, I suppose. Mm -hmm. You've killed it. You've killed it, it's dead. <laughs> it's not moving. He's having a nap. He's having a nap. He's resting because of the, the incredible fight you uh, put him through. Yep. <laughs> I catch to us. Shut up. Uh, I also catch the grass. I was going to say, yeah, quite tangled. Oh, in the irises, yeah. No, 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 no. Well, about no, no. bloody time, you caught something other than a bank. Oh, I've caught these things many a time, so I can't. And then you go and catch a sodding fish. Eh? Hey? Where's the bloody justice in that? Yeah. sit on the bench and not catch and have the arse for the rest of the day. Yeah, because as I was pulling that one in, another one rose up to that one. Yeah, yeah, alright. No one's interested. He thinks he's a bloody expert now, doesn't he? Caught one fish, caught one fish. I know how to catch fish, I know how to catch trout. <laughs> First time out, I caught fish. I'm going to bloody hear the end of this. Catch another one? Yeah, yeah, catch another one, bet you can't. I'm just going to catch another one now, aren't he? Flaming Nora. What? The <laughs> 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 it's all going swimming. <laughs> and now I'm back to form. <laughs> yeah. That's like really annoying. So like, oh, I've caught a fish and now I'm crap at casting again. <laughs> Some fishermen are very secretive, but it doesn't really help the sport. I don't, I don't really get why some fishermen are like, oh no, I can't tell you what I'm fishing with and what I caught this on. Because what works one day in one area won't work the next. That was better cause, that was better. Please with that. And if that don't catch a fish, I'm gonna give up going. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go and take a sit down though, because my back's hurting. I don't know if Keith's ready for his cup of tea. Well, I'm rubbish at fly fishing. I talk a load of nonsense. But I don't care. I'm still enjoying it. 
And that is what fishing should be about. Right, change your lure, I reckon I change your lake. I'm going to go back to the lake called Deep Lake. Oh my word, what's going on here? over the back. <laughs> see? See what I mean? It's bloody rubbish. You're what? Your casting slipped. Your casting slipped. still manages to land a bloody fish. Hey, bloody idiot. And he still catches a fish. Look. He can barely tie his own shoelaces. And he, and here we have a very rare sight of the professional fly fisherman. Bye. Nope, because I'm recording. I've changed my fly. So I want to give this one another go over the back. Yeah. But um, I might give it 10-15 minutes and I might be up. Oh, okay. Oh dear, he's going to watch me. That's when it's all going to go wrong, isn't it? I'm going to act like a complete buffoon. This is how you cast. Not like that idiotic attempt that you do. And still manage to land a sodding fish. Anyway, let's not be bitter. Let's not be bitter. Life's too short. I'm not a grumpy fisherman, honest. Okay, that's enough line out to cast. And we're just gonna whip in the water. There we go. Right. I'm, I'm standing on my line. Not the best cast in the world. That's better. That's better. We ain't got 
another one. Put that out. Oh, you bloody ass. Oh, now I've got to do the running with a poxy net. Push him in, I think. It looked tiny, so I thought, oh, I'll be a hand like that. But he ain't out there. Oh, I brought the net over. <laughs> They do like to fight, don't they? Yeah, they certainly do. There we go. Hey, Doc. Yeah, I see what he means about the tongue, huh? Have a taste. Oh, yeah. yeah, go on, bite him. <laughs> Smelly old trout. <laughs> yeah. Well, then have a rest. No, not set upside down. That's it. You've killed it. Fight it too hard. Bullied it in. Can I just reach down and pick him out and say I caught it? Yeah. Go on, sod off. You rested? You are rested, there you go. Got your bearings? <laughs> yeah, that was sharp. Ooh. Yeah, that got caught on that bit. Oh. Nah. <laughs> See, poetic justice. <laughs> He's proper um, confused. There he goes. <laughs> There's the middle. Very nice, very nice. <sighs> Shut up. And there was so then the, I saw a bench and thought, oh, I'll sit there. And there went the advantage of stealth disappeared. No, it's just a lazy puck who wants to sit on my arm. No, I came over here nice and quiet, and then you've come all round all gobshite. Yeah, but they don't want to gobshite, I'll prove that. What's a bloke supposed to do? Bless him. <laughs> 